So I picked up this really nice clean PET 4016 upgraded to 32K of RAM uh, about a year ago and it came to me with a keyboard problem which uh, many people have experienced so I just want to share that with you. Um, what I did was I took the keyboard apart, I cleaned it in detail, this was all nasty in here. Um, stripped the whole thing, I've got some photos of that I might add to the video. And um, cleaned it all, put it back together again and about a third of the keys worked after that. Then I took it apart a second time and I took the bottom of the plungers and I scrubbed the heck out of them with a um, Q-tip and alcohol. And when I was done that, I think I did about two or three rounds of alcohol scrubbing and I scrubbed each one in detail and I cleaned off the PCB also uh, with uh, alcohol, put it all back together and I had it 95% working. Everything worked except for A, which of course is not working, and I think six which is mostly working. Um, I put it away in the basement. Other things came up uh, for about four or five months. Pulled it out just recently, and what have we got? <laughs> Most keys are not working. Some will work if you hit them hard enough and you play with them, but they, you know, it's just not working. Especially something like this. L. Oh, I got three L's. Delete. Come on, delete one of those two L's. Oh, and I deleted them all. Try that again. L, 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 oh, oh, L, oh, oh, two O's. I only need one. Back up, back up. A, D. So if you can't really load anything, it doesn't make for a fun computing experience. So what I'm gonna do now is um, pull it apart one more time and after watching other videos online, I ordered one of these. It was actually, um, uh, I'm in Canada, so it was really silly expensive for what it is. But I'm going to pull this keyboard apart for the fifth and hopefully final time. And I'm going to uh, paint the bottom of the plungers. It says this can, uh, the conveniently sized kit for premium re uh, repairing rubber keypads. Uh, so you mix these two together and it creates a metallic paint, basically. You paint the bottom of the plungers and you're good to go. Uh, it should be a permanent fix, hopefully. I will be back in a second and we'll see how it goes. So here's the mixing part that uh, I hear people complain about. It says here, clean defective carbon keypad contacts and copper switch pads. So I've cleaned this like 10 times with, well, three times thoroughly with alcohol, so I'm not doing that again. Uh, clean those only contacts to be required. Pour entire contents of part B. That is part B. Can you see the little B? Can you see that? B? <laughs> Into A. See the A? So pour the entire contents of part B into part A. Uh, immediately after opening, mix entire contents of A and B thoroughly for 30 seconds. I never try to never try to do partial amounts with an explanation mark. Never try. Uh, mixed uh, mixed material has a pot life of three days or seventy two hours. Brush mixed material directly over the carbon contacts. Apply very thin coating about the thickness of cellophane tape. All right. Clean excess material from keypad after application. Dries tack free in an hour. Uh, repaired keypads can be returned to service in 24 hours for faster curing uh, heat repaired to 190 well I'm not heating it for 10 minutes and allow it to cool do not exceed 212 degrees Fahrenheit 100 degrees Celsius mixed material has a 72 hour pot life you said that already okay uh, contains uh, contents I don't care okay so let's try this so we open this guy up and yeah, you see the way they ship it, all the material goes to the side. Not much in there. It all kind of gums up on the side, but I'm sure I'll be able to mix that in. Okay, um, 30 seconds. Let's see now. Open this little tiny, tiny jar up. Is this an irritant? Should I be wearing gloves? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I'm not wearing gloves, so too bad. All right, here we go. 
This was like 40 bucks Canadian, by the way, on Amazon. It took like six weeks to get here. A little ridiculous. But, um, okay, here we go. Ready? Let's pour in. <laughs> it's so little. It's like a little sip. Not even a sip. It's like a bunch of raindrops. Try and get it all in there. Don't want to waste any of this stuff. All right. I'm going to use this fancy mixing wand it comes with. Let's try and scoop it down off the sides. Oh, it's pretty soft. It's going to be hard to mix it. Oh, there we go. I can feel it kind of mixing in. It's all stuck to the side. I'm trying to push it down. Yeah, it's mixing to like a, can you see that? Looks like a bit of milkshake consistency. Okay. I'm using the time on the camera to determine what 30 seconds is. It's sort of irritating, it's all stuck to the side, okay. Got to like scrape the side with this thing and try and get it down there. Wow. A pain in the ass. In other videos, they removed all the plungers, all the keys and all the plungers separately, but I've done that twice already. I don't want to do it again. And it looks like it's more difficult to paint it actually. This is going to hold it in place while I'm painting instead of having to rely on uh, uh, holding up my hand. And uh, the keyboard's so clean I would drink out of it if you could eat off of it, whatever. Anyway, okay, so that's been like a minute I've been mixing that for. Uh, I'm gonna try and scrape off my mixing stick here. Save as much as I can. And I think I'm gonna revert to time-lapse so you're not bored with this. So, like I just said a minute ago, and everybody seems to complain about how little content there is in here, the truth is, is that I've now finished this keyboard. <laughs> Give you a closer look. And I've double checked it with my magnifying light, and I'd say that's 100% coverage. Oh, I forgot the space bar. Look at that little space bar hiding down there. Let me just get that. A couple of pro tips I figured out is that one is a, a little tiny drop is a lot. So what I did was I, I uh, dipped the brush and I went, I went uh, on keys and I went dab, dab, dab three or four at a time and then, and then, re, then repainted them, went over them a second time after dabbing them with actually brush strokes. Kind of like when you roll paint on a wall, you roll a big stripe to get some of the paint on the wall and then you roll it out and flatten it out. Uh, similar technique. And... Um, um, yeah, the second thing is that there's a lot. <laughs> there's, everybody complains how little there is. I could do like 20 more keyboards like this. That being said, I'm uh, probably going to go run and make a post now on a pet form and see if anybody local uh, has a similar problem um, because this, as it said, had a 72-hour shelf life. So I've got 72 hours to find somebody with a pet and help them fix their keyboard. Uh, oh, look at that. We're losing a plunger. There we go. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep rolling on this. Uh, actually, I'm not because uh, i got to take a break now. It said uh, let's set for 24 hours unless you use heat and I'm not going to put any heat on this. I'm in not that much of a rush because I've been waiting for a year to do this. So just using my magnifying as you can see, double checking to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And I'd say that the surfaces of those plungers are mighty covered in silver metallic paint. And uh, one thing I did do in my early testing is I just plugged this into the, the PCB into the uh, computer directly into the PET. And I just used something metal like tinfoil uh, on my finger to short out these and it typed no problem. So this wasn't the problem. Keys are moving so it's definitely the, the carbon in the tips of the plunger is dried out, worn off, used up, whatever it may be. It's not a very worn pet, so it's probably not worn out. I'm sure it's just an age thing. 
Um, and hopefully this metal paint I give it uh, gives it another 30 or 40 years of life. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back in the magic of editing in one second. And to me, it'll be 24 hours later. It's kind of like time travel. So it's 36 hours later. And our paint looks nice and dry. Obviously. So um, I'll put this guy back together. I don't have my uh, soldering pen with me, so I'm going to leave the shift lock key out of the equation for now. It's fine. I don't really need it. I'm going to slap it back together and let's see how well this uh, Circuit Works rubber keypad repair kit paint works. Okay, I didn't install the keyboard into the housing just yet. I wanted to do one final test before screwing that back together just in case because I've taken this screw, this, um, taken this keyboard in and out so many times I'm surprised the screws aren't worn out. Let's fire her up. All right. A, S, D. Oh, F, G, H, J, K, L, colon, semicolon. Wow. Can I tell you what a pleasure that is after months of fussing with this? Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, Z, or Z, depending where you live. X, C, V, B. N, M, comma, semicolon, question mark. Oh, I would love. Okay. At, explanation, quote, pound, dollar sign, percent, apostrophe, and percent, slash, bracket, bracket, arrow, bracket, bracket. Oh, it's beautiful. <clears throat> what have I missed? Okay, shift locks disconnected. Uh, just hope, try shift key. Yep, we need the graphics. Uh, try the other shift key, why not? H, yep, we now the graphics. Enter works. <clears throat> okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, beautiful. Zero, period, or dot if it's over here, I guess. I guess there is only one on these keyboards, right? Yeah, just one. Anyway, dash equals plus asterisk slash. Oh, delete, deletes one character at a time. Cursor down, shift cursor up, cursor right, cursor left, clear home. Shift clear home. Oh, guys, this product, I'm putting it on my recommend list. It cost me about $46 Canadian. Here in the US, it's about $30. Um, wow, that certainly solved the problem. We're at 100% keyboard functionality, except of course for soldering the shift key back in. But I can live without shift lock for now. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I guess I'll put a link to this in the video. The Amazon link I used anyway. I don't know if it's a different one for different countries, but I'll give you the Amazon.ca link. That's it. I hope uh, this uh, video helps you. I know that uh, I've seen other people uh, make videos where they do multiple, multiple attempts to uh, clean the uh, plungers. And at the end of the day, um, it seems like you can get it better and better and better after each try, but then there are some keys that don't work. And in my case, I got it mostly working. And when I put the computer away for about three months, brought it out again, it was uh, back to most keys not working again. I have a feeling this is going to be more of a per minute solution. Ah, it's going to be so much fun using this thing going forward. Anyway, that's it. Have a great day. Okay, I'm just too excited. One more shot. Uh, I'm trying to use this machine since I picked it up uh, eight months ago, a year ago. Um, it was just so frustrating because every time I hit a key, I had to like force it. Even when I had it cle the keyboard cleaned and it was mostly working, it was still a struggle to hit keys. It's just so beautiful now. I'm just going to 
this, I, I just went back in time to uh, uh, 1980, maybe, <laughs> 79. Uh, this is awesome. Space, quote, enter, 20, go to 10, and run. Yeah, just so beautiful. It is awesome. This is awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching.